Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This will be part one in my build series where I'm building my very first CNC router. I've only seen videos of CNC routers on YouTube and I've never seen one in person and of course I've never operated one. So this is completely new to me. I've done a lot of research and I think I've got a design that's gonna work pretty nicely. And I'm also pretty confident that it's going to work because I've already bought all the components and they were really expensive. Now I want to give you guys a quick overview of the design. So first of all, all these uh, extrusions, they are 6030 aluminum extrusions. And I had those cut to uh, the lengths here on the drawing by uh, the manufacturer and then these plates here in the end, that is, this is 15 by 10 by, what is it? Yeah, I bought, I bought a two meter long piece that I'll cut out to these lengths. And uh, this is just aluminum and they will be the side plates. I'll have to machine those myself. And this is a 10 millimeter piece. That's all, it's, it's 10 by 100 millimeters and also two meters. I have to machine that as well. And then I'm using these linear bearings, I'll get into that a bit later. So it's basically uh, this, the whole bed is going to be stationary and then the motor or the spindle is going to be moving around on top of it, right? Now I want to show you all the components that I bought for this CNC router. Let's start off with the exciting stuff, which would be this 3000 watt CNC spindle. I want to be able to cut aluminum, so I think with this should do. It's also got this 3000 watt inverter. Next up we've got the stepper motors. This is NEMA 23 stepper motors and they seem really strong. I've bought four of them, but I'm only going to be using three, so I've got one that I can use to upgrade later on. Then I've got this just Chinese stepper driver and I've also got four of those. And then I've got two of these uh, really large power supplies that's going to be powering all these stepper motors. Now let's move on to the breakout boards for the stepper drivers. The black one came with the stepper motors, but it uses a very dumb cable that I don't have any of. And instead I bought this uh, Mark III breakout board. It uses USB instead. This is the limit switches. I've only got three at the moment, but there's three more on the way uh, from China. Now on to all the structural pieces. This is all the aluminium extrusions, and these are really hard to find in Europe. So I had to buy them in Germany, and they didn't ship to Denmark, so I had to convince them to do that, and uh, somehow it worked. These are the rods for the linear bearings. And when I bought them, I was really surprised to see how expensive they were. And of course, I've got two of each. Here are the two pieces of aluminum plate. They were too large to fit on the table. This is the Acme lead screws. They were bundled together with the linear bearings and rods and all that. And they seem really nice. Here are some corner pieces. This is the linear bearings. They seem really nice and high quality, and they fit onto the rods really nicely. This is bearings for the lead screw, mounts for the NEMA 23 motors. These mount on the lead screw, couplers to connect the stepper motors to the lead screws, and then last, a billion different screws to bolt it all together. I've planned everything out as well as I can, so hopefully everything goes together without any trouble. I haven't bought the table that it's going to be routing on yet, and I haven't bought the box for all the electronics, but that's going to be coming up in the, the later videos. In the next video, uh, I'll be machining all the parts and making everything ready to be bolted together. Thank you very much for watching.